Hiya, this is lesson three of the first integration path. And it's looking at integrating sine and cos. So we know from the little clock face, if I differentiate sine, it goes to cos. So if I go backwards, if I go anti-clockwise around my clock face, if I integrate sine, it goes to if I integrate cos, it goes to sine, and integrate sine, it goes to minus cos. I've got this reverse of the chain rule in here, where if I differentiate the bracket, instead of sticking it at the front, I do one over it. So when I'm integrating, to reverse that bit that was done on the differentiating, I have to do one over the differentiation of the second function, which turned off the aircon, it was noisy. Um, what's quite nice is in your formula booklet, if you know that tan differentiates to secant squared, I can integrate by going the other way. Oops. Oh, I don't know why. There. So I can integrate by reversing that process. So if I integrate secant squared, it goes to tan. If I integrate cosecant cot, it goes to cosecant or minus cosecant and all the rest of it. But once again, differentiate that second function, put it in the front if you're differentiating, but put one over it if you're integrating. Right, you ready? So let's have a look at this then. So, um, got to keep an eye on the time as well, because we're only five minute videos. So looking at my clock face, if I integrate sine, it goes to minus cos, so that's minus cos x. If I integrate cos, it goes to sine, but look at the 4x, so it's 4 lots of sine 4x. And if I integrate secant, oh, oh, look at that, look at me putting the 4 there. Oh, that's wrong, isn't it? Done differentiating already. It's 1 over it. 1 over 4 uh, sine 4x. Four and then the secant squared, we know that secant squared would integrate back to tan, because that's on the bottom of this page down here. Integrate secant squared, it goes to tan. So then I've got the minus 3, but I've got this 2x, so if I differentiate it's 2, so it goes there. Plus C. Oh, you have to watch me on that then. Been doing too much differentiating recently. Right, so let's have a look at this next one then. So I'm going to integrate it. So cos goes to sine. So I know it's going to be 2 sine 4x minus a half. But then if I differentiate the 4x minus a half, that's 4. And I divide through by 4. So that's going to mean that I've just got, what's my example? Uh, just got a half sine 4x minus a half plus c. Right, let's look at this one. Oh my word. Right, so secant tan. So secant tan goes to my uh, goes to secant. <clears throat> so secant tan goes to secant. I had 10 of them already, but I differentiate that second bit and put it over it. Yeah, so I've got 10 over 5. Cosecant cot. So cosecant, oh, cosecant cot goes to minus cosecant. So it's going to be a minus. It's going to be a cosecant 3x. I've already got a half, but I have to differentiate the 3. So I've got a first, so I've got a sixth there, haven't I? And then cosecant squared. So cosecant squared goes to cot, it's at the bottom of that page. So I've got a minus, so I've got a cot of 6x. Oh, it went to minus, didn't it? Let's have a quick look. There's a minus, so cosecant goes to minus cot. So that's going to be a plus. So that would be a cot 6x plus 1. But then I've differentiated the 6 and put it over it.